breakfast girly through and through. Like I will go out of my way to make like the best breakfast. It's my favorite meal of the day. <laughs> I know this looks like a lot and it is a lot. I like to stay full at least until like 1.30 because I get really hungry really fast. These pancakes are from America <laughs> and they're the last of them. So I'm really excited to eat that. And then I have some fruit and coffee. So I'm just gonna eat this and then I'm gonna shower and I'm gonna head outside. I am like the most tired <laughs> that I ever felt. I have like ligament pains and like pelvic pains and just like sleeping on my side. Just sometimes she's moving and it's just like, it's chaos, it's just chaos. And honestly, like I feel like my body is getting used to the sleep deprivation. <laughs> um, my husband on the other hand, he's like, oh, I'm so tired. He's like, I really wanna become a morning person. And I was like, you're about to become a morning person very soon. This video and I have one or two more that are sit down videos that will also be in the podcast will be uploaded here on the space until I honestly don't know. But like I said before, please follow me at Kelly Marita underscore score lifestyle because that's my new Instagram account because I'll be posting there all the time still. So I'll be documenting on Instagram. Anyway, follow me over there because I'm going to be putting myself on maternity leave. But I'll be back to YouTube probably in the next eight weeks or whatever. <laughs> Life has just been so chill. So there's not that much to show you. I'm always doing laundry. I'm always <laughs> doing like the mundane tasks throughout the day. My husband is going to the office this week for the last time and then he's going to be staying home for the rest of the month until the baby's born so and then he's on paternity leave that's what's happening right now i just wanted to update you guys but today's vlog is literally just me doing the mundane tasks and things so i hope you enjoy it <laughs> myself so hard I think I, I overdid it it's super nice today it's like it's like the most beautiful day in the world I bought a lot of stuff and I carried it and it was so hard I need to sit this is why I can't like carry my camera around and like film anymore because I'm just like in so much pain and like it's so hard so so it's almost 2 30 and I was gonna cook but I'm like I don't want to stand it's so hard like I want to cook like I really want to cook food but I ordered McDonald's to be fair I haven't had McDonald's in like two or three weeks or something like I haven't had it in a while and you guys this pregnancy I never ever crave soda and i used to call it pop by the way because i'm from michigan but i never crave soda and i ordered coca-cola zero more of a pepsi girl i don't know pepsi or coca-cola let me know down below but i never crave it and i never drink it so it's just weird that i'm wanting it anyway i'm gonna show you guys what i got and i'm gonna eat lunch okay so i've been using my phone this entire time because i'm lazy and it's the easiest thing to use so i don't know if you can see me it doesn't do really well in like darker lighting okay we got the tacos we got some lettuce tons of yogurt my two favorite are the part parteno and the oikos yogurt coffee because my husband wanted some coffee I pro i'll probably drink it too then i got some of my favorite bread at the grocery store because i like to make avocado toast or um, almond butter toast in the morning. They had yummy grapes at the grocery store and strawberries, which I put away because I wanted them to be cold. And these delicious looking Nikon. Oh my God, it looks so good. I love oranges this pregnancy. Like I'm craving oranges all the time. I'm craving pancakes all the time this third trimester, but I've been craving these my entire pregnancy. And then at Uniqlo, I got these maternity leggings. Uniqlo has really good leggings, I think. 
um, medium fits me pretty well for maternity leggings, but the underwear, the maternity underwear, I need like an L size right now. I started out with a medium, but now I need an L size. And I found these cute little under shirts. They're like breathable shirts at Uniqlo for babies. And it's kind of like a sort of mesh material. And they're so cute. This one has little birds on it. I don't know, I hope you can see it. And then this one has fruits on it. Every time I go for long walks, she just falls asleep. So I, I've been itching. I'm actually gonna talk to the doctor about it. I think it's fine. It hasn't spread to like any other part of the body. It's just where my stretch marks are at the bottom. I, I feel like I've had every single pregnancy symptom under the sun, like, like every single one. First pregnancy has been hard, okay? It's been beautiful, but it's been hard. Anyway, I just wanted to share with you guys these Aveeno Soothing Bath Treatments linked in the description if you're looking for something that helps with itching, but it also locks in moisture in your body. So I'm gonna put this in the bath and I'm gonna take a early bath. <laughs> my whole belly here <laughs> but you can get this whole place wet so I take a shower we clean ourselves we use the same bath water so what we do is we wash our bodies and clean ourselves and then take turns with the bath okay so I hope you can hear me because I'm using my phone. I was going to like straighten up the living room, but that's not gonna happen. So I'm exhausted and I feel like I over, what's the word? I overestimate how much I can do. This is like the long haul. This is the final stretch. This is the moment of truth. Some of you guys have been watching me from 2015 when I started and my channel name was Strawberry Mochi and I had blonde hair, and then it changed to Loveless Kelly, and that was kind of like my stage name for a while when I was doing music. You guys have been with me through my dates and through just living here in general, and it's been a journey, and I just feel so proud of myself. I moved to Japan when I was 23. I'm living my dreams. I'm living the life of my dreams, and I'm about to have my first baby, which I've always wanted to be a mom. Anyway, I'm like, so tired from talking. The energy draining is just so real. Okay, so I'm watching this series called Perfect Match and it makes me feel so grateful that I have such a good relationship because these people are messy and you can just tell it's just not gonna work out. But they put like all of the reality TV series contestants from other TV shows and put them into one series and it's just, it's a mess. I needed something to watch and binge watch. So <laughs> I'm doing that and I'm a reality TV junkie so. No, there's a broken one. There's two broken ones. All right. <laughs> 